So we start here with an x-ray image. The main point here is that to create an x-ray image, an x-ray beam is emitted through something. In this case, it happens to be someone's chest, and then it's detected on the other side. How black or white an area on the film is depends on the density of the tissues between the emitter and the detector at that point. For example, if I emit x-ray beams here, where there's mainly lung, which mainly contains air and is therefore low density, most of the beams are going to get through and it's going to display on the x-ray as black. If I shine x-ray beams through this point here where the heart overlies the spine, very few beams are going to get through to the detector because these are dense structures. This is going to show up as white. The takeaway point here is that low density areas are going to look blacker and higher density areas are going to look whiter. CT is more complex in x-ray, but the same principles apply. More dense structures are going to look whiter, and less dense structures are going to look darker. In the most basic terms, CT shines x-rays through the body from all angles, and it's able to determine the density of every single part of your body. It calculates the density of tiny voxels. A voxel is like a 3D pixel or a volume pixel. That's where it gets its name from. Picture the body is being made up of millions and millions of tiny cubes. CT calculates the density of all these little cubes of tissue and then displays that density. How dense a given cube or voxel is can be graded on a scale, and that scale is called the Hounsfield unit scale. 